Hey guys, it's Chris. From dark, spooky fish in the deep sea to giant living fossils, here are eight of the scariest fish in the world today. Number 8. Piranha Perhaps one of the most infamous fish on the face of the earth, the piranha is a fish that is characterized by its razor-sharp teeth that can bite through nearly any living thing. They usually swim in swarms, and so when they eat, they will come together to literally pick the bones clean regardless of what has fallen into the water. Another reason that people fear this fish is that they can get kind of big, sometimes up to two feet in length. So when you put a bunch of two-foot fish together... Well, that's a big swarm of fish coming to eat your face. Now, despite what people claim and certain horror movies love to project, piranhas don't openly attack humans. They bite them, sure, but they don't usually eat humans for a very simple reason. When they fall into the water, they aren't hurt. Piranha prefer prey that's weak and panicking. That's why they can't resist the swarm descending on them and killing them. It should also be noted that there isn't just a single species of piranha. There are actually several within the regions of South America where they live. This is important because not all the piranha species are full-on meat-eaters. Some are herbivores, some are omnivores. Regardless of that, though, piranha are very well organized. They signal to each other when prey is weak, and they'll even share the food with others so that everyone gets a bite. With all these factors, it's no wonder that the myths and legends of piranhas and their feeding frenzies have grown to mythical proportions, and the fear of them has been legendary. Number 7. Anglerfish Anyone who has seen Finding Nemo knows exactly what this fish is, as well as the meaning of the phrase, happy feeling gone. In case you were hoping that the movie exaggerated what the fish is like, well, they didn't. This creature is a hunter and killer like few others, and it tricks its opponents to come to it. They live at depths of over 3,000 feet, and it gets pretty dark down there, guys. The anglerfish is actually called the sea devil by some, which is appropriate because its face and body definitely remind you of a scary demon. Its teeth are huge and sharp, and those eyes alone are enough to scare anybody, especially in the dark. The anglerfish has a natural lure on its head, hence the name. This unique evolution is actually a protrusion that extends out of its body. And yeah, it glows, making it one of the few sources of light down in the Mariana Trench. It'll turn the light on just enough to illuminate the area without revealing itself. It's got a few inches to do so thanks to the length of the protrusion. And as the light shines, fish will slowly approach, curious about the light and its source. And while they're distracted by it, the anglerfish will get closer and closer with its mouth and then lash out at the fish and swallow them whole while they're distracted. A very interesting thing to know, though, about this creature is that 90% of the time, the anglerfish you'll see are all females, as they can grow to be 8 inches long. In contrast, the males are only about an inch long. That's eight times smaller. The males will latch onto the female like a parasite, and its body will start to dissolve bit by bit. It's freaking gross. Number 6. Frilled Shark Known as the living fossil, the frilled shark is a special kind of shark that doesn't resemble any of the species of shark that live in the oceans today. Or more accurately, it does not have many of the standard features a shark is known for. It doesn't have a large dorsal fin, but instead it has numerous fins on the side and bottom of its body. Its skin also looks very rugged and worn, which many have likened to certain types of eels. In fact, the frilled shark has been compared to an eel a lot because of the way it moves through the water. They're pretty large creatures too, about 6.6 .6 feet long at max. If you're hoping to try and see one of these sharks yourself, well, good luck. You might need to go to 5,000 feet below sea level in certain parts of the ocean like the Atlantic and Pacific. Though some reports have seen it close to the surface in other areas, such as Suruga Bay, Japan, where it's said to be only 660 feet below sea level at max. Despite this, the frilled shark is very rarely observed, so there is still much about the creature that's unknown. And here we go with number five, but before, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you've been to an aquarium recently like I have, and you've seen maybe, here we go, number five, hammerhead shark. I did see one of these at the aquarium. Easily one of the most recognizable sharks ever, the hammerhead shark is one of the fiercest predators in the waters because of how it uses its unique head to find and kill prey. 
Well, it might not seem that great to have eyes on the side of your head, it's actually not a limitation. In fact, it's a strength that it happily embraces. For the hammerhead shark is able to see perfectly 360 degrees, which means that regardless of whether you're in front of, behind, above, or even below the hammerhead, as long as you're within its range, it can see you, which for a predator gives you perfect situational awareness of your surroundings. But that's not all. Because of the shape of their head, they're actually able to move very quickly in the water, including turning around on a dime to catch prey or avoid a predator. This agility makes them very dangerous. Though, weirdly, there has not been a fatal hammerhead shark attack on a human yet. Still, when it comes to the fish of the sea, the hammerhead shark may look odd, but it's one creature that will be able to get its prey once it's laid its eyes on it. Number 4. The One-Eyed Albino Shark A fisherman off Baja, California took pictures of what he claimed to be a one-eyed shark. Almost immediately, people started crying out that it was a fake. The creature looked horrendous, like a prop for some sort of horror movie. Even when pictures of the shark were taken from another angle and seemed to be legit, still no one believed it. It's not hard to see why, though, as fake pictures of sea creatures have been going around for years, if not centuries. But then, a few weeks after the first pictures were taken, yet another set of them featuring the one-eyed shark appeared online. And this time it looked to be in some process of decay, which only could have happened if it was a real thing and not a construct. After some investigations by some real reporters, they found out it was a real one-eyed shark. And it didn't look this way because it was a new species or even a true monster. It all had to do with genetics. In this case, it was a deformed fetus from a caught pregnant bull shark. How the deformation and albino coloring occurred wasn't clear, but it was clear that it was real and rare. One expert said that only 50 of these kinds of creatures have ever been documented. And this doesn't just happen to sharks, it can happen to other animals too, depending on various circumstances. And this is pretty scary, because if something like this could exist, then so do other deformities and mutations in wild creatures out there. And for the human mind, there are few things in life scarier than something that we feel shouldn't exist lurking in the depths. Number 3. Goblin Shark the goblin shark, also known as the vampire shark, is one of the most interesting things you will find in the waters of the world. And I know you're asking why. Well, because it's been around for a long time. Its species is said to have lived for millions of years. But to most, the real thing to look at with the goblin shark, well, is its looks. It's not called the goblin shark for nothing, after all. The elongated nose of the goblin shark is full of electromagnetic sensors. It can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. When it does find food, it'll not only lock onto it, it'll actually extend its mouth from its body and chomp down on the prey. If you've ever seen the alien movies with the xenomorph, it's kind of like that. Despite this feature, though, it is said to be a very slow creature. On average, the goblin or vampire shark is said to be around 10 feet long. But because of their rarity and the fact that they live in the trench, they could potentially be much, much larger. The range of the goblin shark is also rather impressive, because they're able to live in waters just 330 feet below sea level and also in the deepest place on Earth, the Mariana Trench. Number 2. Sarcastic Fringe Head one of the many evolutions that certain fish and other creatures have is the ability to seem harmless from afar, but then, when a predator nears, they flare up their body in some way and become very aggressive, which in the waters of the world speaks to the nature of the sarcastic fringe head. This saltwater fish may not seem like much at first, and when coiled up, it resembles a regular fish, sometimes even being brightly colored. But when threatened, it opens up its massively distended mouth and becomes something out of a horror film. What's more, the sarcastic fringe head is actually a very territorial creature, and it's been known to wrestle with its own kind in order to ensure that its home isn't invaded. They actually battle with their mouths to try and overpower each other. However, unlike many predators of the sea, the sarcastic fringe head isn't one that humans should worry about per se, as they're only a foot long. Plus, they only reside in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of North America, so you won't have to worry about seeing this creature in a local lake or anything like that. And number one, great white shark. Fear of sharks is practically human nature. 
And the shark at the top of the list is the infamous Great White Shark. That fear has given birth to many rumors and legends in regards to what they can do, specifically how much they go after humans in the water. Now, they have attacked some people over the years, but the truth of the matter is that sharks don't really attack people that often unless provoked, especially Great Whites. Yearly, there are about 80 unprovoked shark attacks. And that's 80 attacks around the entire world, with only a small percentage of them being fatalities. So yeah, it's not as common as you might think. But even with that being the case, there's still plenty to make the great white shark imposing. This shark has about 300 teeth that it uses to rip prey apart. And it's fast, too. It'll get you when you're least expecting it, and then shake you around until you're either unconscious or dead. At times, they'll even burst out of the water at incredible speeds and slam their foes into the water to ensure they don't get resistance. Plus, they can be 20 feet in length and sometimes over, which means they're in the upper echelon in regards of shark size. The real fear of the great white shark, though, comes from the film Jaws, which made many in the world afraid to go into the water. Thanks for watching. Do you believe these scary fish? Uh, which one's the scariest for you? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.